Hey there, it's Scotia. On today's episode of How To Goth, I want to go over unusual purses or bags or wallets, whatever you want to call it. Um, something that has become really prominent these days is that trifold handheld clutch wallet made out of vinyl. And you see them with all sorts of pictures and things like that, and they're really cute and really overdone. So I've had a few just like silver and black folded wallets, and I decided that I had enough. So um, what I've been doing probably the past couple of years is collecting these um, old toolboxes, these little miniature toolboxes from mm, probably about the 40s through the 60s, I would say. And I've got a few examples and I've been using them as wallets. So first one, got this little proto toolbox, which is pretty neat. I use this one a lot. It's got my makeup stuff in it right now. Um, this one is my current wallet. It's your Busy Boy, which I really like because, you know, it's for boys only and the fact that it holds all this girly crud is kind of nice. Um, also, first aid kits make awesome wallets or purses. Um, the only thing with this one, I think, is I will probably do some sort of wrapped handle because over time it gets to be a little bit uh, painful if it's heavy and you've got a lot of crud in here. Um, it's nice to actually have something solid to hold on to. And then lastly, I have this one, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's this old first aid cabinet that I have ended up making a purse strap, a little chain here for, or you can hold it like this, which is gives a nice option. Um, so what I did here is looked for some sort of box that had these little clips already. So because this is a first aid kit, it has these tabs that you that were used to put it on the wall. Um, the other thing is it's got this beautiful gold flaking on the front. And so I ended up using a clear vinyl spray to keep it on and uh, prevent it from deteriorating further. Uh, this chain is just handy dandy chain from Home Depot. It's three feet long, which is the perfect length. Oh, hi, too. Toad says hello. Perfect length for over the, the shoulder. Oh, hello. You can see that uh, I sewed my own shirt and a few years ago, make it tighter and get a little bit, a bit of a armpit action there. All right, so the next step, because I had the chain, was to figure out how to not uh, make it so uncomfortable on my shoulder. You can buy these shoulder straps on eBay, Amazon, whatever it is but I wanted something with a little bit more of an industrial rougher look. So I ended up getting this full thickness leather. Um, I left this, this hole in it, which is actually kind of gross, but that's where the hide is held up and, and tanned, things like that. And for the template, for the template, I just ended up getting this uh, regular paper, uh, folded it in quarters. So that way the corners would would match up for the strap and ta -da, there you have so it's this oblong rectangular shape for the chain to go through and then you cut four slits in it so that way the chain can go through the leather and uh, the majority of the chain isn't resting on you. you've got one well two links really that end up sitting on the shoulder and then you've got these little little strappy do's there and for the final touch You've got the whatever whatever link you want. So these are these U-shaped turnbuckly things, which give it a really nice look. Ooh, yeah, me in focus. Ooh, great. And uh, because this, I chose one that already had tabs on it, it was a lot easier to do. It took me all of like 20 minutes to put this together. And now I've got a really nice, nice purse here. Fancy. All right. Ah, that wasn't the best, but you know. All right. Well, if you guys have done anything really neat, um, made some different purses, I've got a lot, other, a lot of others that I can show you later on. But today it's metal box purses slash um, first aid kits or tool kits that you have now made into some kind of clutchy grabby thing.
<laughs> That's really specific. So anyway, leave your comments below. Let me know if you've made anything really awesome uh, from repurposing something a little bit different. You can click subscribe here if you want to see this craziness going on a little bit more. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Leah underscore Scotia. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.